Alright guys, welcome back to the most amazing gaming channel in the world. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be, uh, well behind me on all this, you're going to be seeing a bunch of clips from the stream and such. Kind of some uh, highlights over the past little bit. Um, but some of the things I want to talk about today is how all game de developers, game devs, uh, can reduce the toxicity that they have in their games. This not only goes for Smite, but League or any game out there, Rainbow Six Siege, Battlefield, whatever you play, um, I have an idea of how they can reduce the toxicity. Um, the next thing after that I want to talk about is going to be how uh, Smite can actually fix their casual matchmaking system. Now this does go hand in hand with the toxicity um, like reduction in the game. Uh, so that's why I'm going to cover that th first. And then the third and last thing that I will be talking about is going to be the uh, how I think Smite can maybe potentially fix their ranked um, system as well, or if, at least make it a little bit better. So to start with, we're going to talk about the uh, toxicity. Um, it's it's a, it's an issue that everything that everyone goes through, especially because this channel is mainly around Smite. Um, so many people um, know that the people are toxic. They are just really bad people. They will literally say the worst things ever, from you should go kill yourself to complete racial slurs with a hard N. My idea here and i have thought about this from you know the player base to what would happen and what i honestly think that any game dev should do now they would, they would probably get some backlash at first um and you're going to lose some of your player base so they need to be aware of that but i think that more people would end up coming back and playing the game due to the fact that they know it's not going to be a toxic game for the most part so to kind of quit beating around the bush the first thing is going to be um, like, you, you, or the first thing, uh, is hard racial slurs. Um, whatever it is, whether it's the N word, it's, you know, s you know, spick, whatever it, I mean, there, you guys know them. I'm not going to list them. Um, if that is said in your game, it's an immediate permaban on the account. Plain and simple. Um, you, they have emails and such and so make them sign up with an email address. I get that people will have to create a whole new email, but if that's the case, um, that anyone that says any racial slur, anyone, and they keep all the chat logs, anyone that says anyone, anything about go kill yourself, if they are reported, they look at the chat logs and they see any sort of like racial slur or a de basically a death threat. Um, because technically, I don't know if you guys know this, if you tell someone to go commit suicide and they follow it and they set link, whatever it is, your IGN, you can be su like sent to prison for it's like coercion of, uh, I forgot what it's called, but basically you coerce, coerce this person into committing suicide. You will be sent to prison. That's how it happens. So hey, listen. I should probably put that, uh, put that on a uh, vibrate here. Um, so I think that's one of the big things. You permaban them. Um, whether it's the account, but then someone can go and create a new account and then just do it again. Um, it's an immediate though. It's, a, it's like in your terms and conditions, you do not, you know, use that. You make that very clear. It obviously would hit the, uh, you know, hit, hit the presses and people would be like, oh my God, I got banned because I said the N word. That's so down, blah, blah, blah. Good. You don't be a toxic fucking cunt. All right. You can tell someone, dude, you're a fucking asshole. What the fuck? You stupid shit. That's fine. I'm all right. If you call me that, I'm like, all right, you know, maybe, maybe I did some moves that were bad. All right. But you start telling me to kill myself or, you know, calling me a hard racial slur or anything like that. Yeah. I think it should be an immediate permaban. Um, if it's bad enough, you just, if you can ban the IP address or the Mac address or whatever it is, um, you know, and, and then ban of the emails as well. So if you want to do, do both of them. So you do an account ban the first three times. And after that, you do the IP. Make these people never play your game again. Um, everyone's tired of it. If you're that type of person that says that to someone. Um, I had someone, I was literally like playing a game. The person left and he said, fuck N word. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, are you serious? F fuck you. Like, it's completely un unacceptable. So that's kind of going to be the first thing. And I think if uh, any game dev comes out and full-on makes that the expectation, you're going to have a much better community. And that's just where you can start. Um, after that, then you can just go into anything. Now, I'm not saying you can't be like, dude, you're a stupid shit. And then all of a sudden you have to worry about, oh, God, I, I, I might be banned. No, I'm saying about, like, hard stuff, racial stuff, suicide. Um, I'm going to fucking kill your entire family. 
Um, I've been told that one before. That was like, hey, you know, that, that's that's interesting. I'm, that's new to me. So I think that's one of the things uh, where I think. Now let me know. Uh, I do want to make this presence. I meant to say it at the beginning of the video. None of this. Is, this is all just my opinion. I haven't looked into many of like the facts of if a game developer can ban the IP address and MAC address, but I still do think that there should at least be an account ban. Moving on to that, it would be how a game could then, in a sense, fix their casual matchmaking. Now I'm going to be focusing more on Smite. It's mainly the game I played for the past like two, three years, and it should, you know, so I, I, I kind of know it a bit more. Everyone knows the casual matchmaking is a absolutely shitty matchmaking. Um, some of the stuff I have is that you have it based off of um, the hours that you have played. Um, and whether or not the people own the God Pack or not. Um, or just break it down into God's Owned. Um, it's not fun and I've had this happen where I go into a queue with, you know, I get someone and they're like, I only have seven gods and I'm like, are you serious? I have over a thousand hours put into this game. What level are you? Oh, I'm just starting. Okay. What the fuck? Cause now that's not making it fun for your casual players and it's not making fun for the people who are literally wanting to test stuff out. Um, now you might be thinking, well, wait, if you permaban all the toxicity people and they create a new account, wouldn't that make all of your toxic people uh, be in that casual elo or, or, you know, have small like God pools. Um, in this situation, yes, it is one of the downsides to it. Um, but another idea of how you can fix your casual matchmaking is break it down into hours played. If you want, have like different stages. So have a zero hours to 50 hours, um, have a, or zero to 49. Then you can have 50 to 199. Then you can have, or, you know, 50 to, you know, that's actually about 50, 50 to 149. Then you can do uh, 150 uh, to 299. Then you can have three to five. And then you can have anything, you know, five to a thousand. And then meh, maybe not because there's actually a thousand hours. It's quite a bit. Um, so then you do five to 750 and then 750 and above. At that point, you know, people who you are getting paired up against, regardless what mode they have played. They at least have played a lot of the fucking game. Um, but I can't tell you. I literally, I'm not even kidding. I think it was yesterday or two days ago. I got into a ranked game. Keep in mind, as of right now, I'm plat three. I got into a ranked game with someone that had 128 hours. I have more ranked conquest than he has in the entire fucking game put together. That is not okay in the slightest. Um, so that's why I think if you pair it up with people who at least have different hours played and regardless of the game, uh, because if I start a new game, say I switch to Paragon and I'm like, all right, let's try this PVP. And I have a guy that's got 400 hours in and knows like all the card decks and knows like the combos. And I'm like, all right, let's see. And I go play and I get my fucking ass destroyed. And I'm like, that wasn't fun, like at all. And then the other people are like, why the fuck are you so bad? It like basically promotes toxicity and not no entrance to newer games. Um, it's horrible. I mean, even just yesterday, and I think it might have been yesterday, it was a bronze to uh, like Sylvanas. And he went Sylvanas. And I was like, it's not bad, but if you saw their team comp, they had like all this mobility. They had like Athena's, they had like Agnes, like they had so much shit. And, and like a Guan Yu. And I'm just like, what are you doing, dude? Um, needless to say, he didn't get a single kill. He died like 10 times, all that fun stuff. Um, so that's how I think you can fix your casual matchmaking is um, base it off of the hours they have played. Um, I feel that that's something that is very doable. And, you know, it might take some fine tuning to adjust the brackets. But if you have those brackets, you know, hey, I'm new anyone zero to 50 hours I'm going to be playing up against. Now I do understand that, you know, maybe you could submit a ticket saying, Hey, I'm not challenged right now. Like, you know, if Barracuda starts over on his Smurf lawn master or whatever, um, I, he should not be getting paired with people that are literally brand new with the game. So I get that's in a sense, a downside, but at that point you can file a, uh, you know, support ticket and say, Hey, here, this is my Smurf. Can you bump me up to this type of play style? Or, hey, um, you know, if I was just starting though, and I'm like, I've, you know, played League of Legends for six years. I'm trying Smite out. I know how to play and everything. I feel like I'm good. I'm like, look at my history. I'm going like 20 and eight every single time. Like no one can kill me. Then I think that that should be a, you know, a, a potential thing to work around as well. And then the last thing is going to be the Smite God Masteries um, for ranked 
Um, so some of the stuff that I have thought is one, make it to where your ranked requirements are not 16 gods. There's over 84 mastered. You know what that means? Someone could literally buy 16 gods, never play, never train, never practice with any other god and get into your ranked game. This is also something I don't like is that they can literally be an arena joust siege main, assault main, all that fun stuff. Never play a day of conquest and walk in and go, you know what? I think I'm going to do ranked conquest because I can. That's not okay. Personally, I think that that's absolutely horrible. So what I think they should do is increase the God Masteries to one third of the gods that are out. Um, I'm sure this would be a pretty simple coding issue um, where you can only make 33% instead of having to do a certain amount. Uh, I think that that would be definitely super, super helpful. That means every three gods that come out, you have to master one extra. It's not too uh, outrageous. Also, I want to, I think that there should be a certain amount of hours played or at least hours played on conquest. As I just said, someone could literally never play a conquest day in their life and then walk into ranked conquest. I personally think that they should say, Hey, before you go to ranked conquest, you need a hundred hours played of conquest. hundred hours is a basic so that people can still in. I'm not asking everyone to go to the, you know, ranked to be a fucking diamond masters player. Um, but people like you still need those bronzes to, you know, diamonds. So have them at least have a general gist of, hey, what does Fire Giant do besides put a red ring around me? Like, what does Gold Fury actually do? How much life does it do? Um, like, you know, to, to have that aspect. So I think if you increase the gods master to 33%, one third of the gods, you uh, increase the hours played on Conquest to 100 hours, or even make it at least um, hours played and make it like 200 you know, or do both. You need to have 200 hours total played and 100 hours, you know, of actual conquest play. That way, you know, but I don't like that either because I think if you literally do nothing but conquest, you shouldn't have to put 200 hours in why this other guy can do 100 hours conquest and 100 hours arena and now he goes in with horrible mechanics. And then the last thing that I think that Smite should do is you look at League of Legends here, guys. Um, they have their basically conquest, their assault, and their joust. That is it. Um, and then they have their ranked versions of, I think, just Conquest and uh, Joust. Yeah, Conquest and Joust. What Smite has, and this is what's so bad about Smite and why they complain about, well, we need more people to play. The reason why is because you have Conquest, you have Clash, you have Siege, you have Assault, you have Joust, you have Arena, you have the Match of the Day. You have uh, adventures half the time. You have ranked conquest. You have ranked joust. And you have ranked duel. That is like 12 modes that you are displacing the player base instead of making there be five total fucking modes and then say queue up for one of them. I get people are going to be really upset that they can't main arena and just be team deathmatch. But that's not, if that's what you want, go do battle right. All right. Like that's exactly what it is. That's not what Smite should be, and that's why everyone complains about the matchmaking is because they displace the player base by putting way too many goddamn modes in the fucking game. Fix it, and everything will be great. Um, no one wants to have their arena main coming in. I get from the standpoint of, well, those arena people really like buying a lot of skins, so we're going to lose out on money. Okay, but keep in mind you're also displacing your player base, so you're not even getting people, you're having people leave your game because they're so fucking tired of being bronzes and plats paired with the same fucking people. Like, it's stupid. There's going to be a video out uh, soon. Um, actually, I don't know if I can get it. My uh, file got corrupt. I literally was bored, and you could hear it in my voice, and it was stupid. I went like 17-2 and two with Scotty, and I'm just like, it was absolutely boring. If you haven't seen it, come watch. It was on my stream as of uh, 12, 6 of 17. This is being recorded on 12, 7. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section, though. Uh, do you think I'm completely batshit crazy? Will none of this work? Do you think, hey, that's actually a really good idea. Smite should actually do this. Um, kind of let me know what you guys think because it's definitely, like I said, is just my opinions. And I would love to hear back from you guys as well. So thank you guys, and as always, until the next time, have yourself a fucking amazing life. Guys, I'm lagging really bad. I just had a huge ping spike. Coming in on Osiris.
Nice.